this video is basically to show you some alternative way of developing apps um, for Ubuntu phone. Uh, this here is a Meizu MX4 phone, Ubuntu edition, so it runs Ubuntu. Right? This is uh, Ubuntu 15.04 uh, Vivid. And here I have a Ubuntu desktop. Um, what I will be using is not the standard Ubuntu SDK, but instead I will be using Lazarus with Free Pascal, which actually are installed on the phone itself. The reason I'm using desktop is because I will connect over SSH with X forwarding into the phone and I will run the Lazarus IDE directly from the phone but forward it to my screen and I will be also recording the screen with Ubuntu uh, uh, desktop with simple screen recorder so I'm doing this right now so that later on when I uh, put this video together I will show you some close-up on what's going on, on the screen exactly and we'll try like this okay so uh, what I'm going first to do is I'm gonna launch up two terminal windows in my Ubuntu desktop both of which I will um, SSH into this phone with X forwarding so I'm using standard uh, SSH uh, dash Y the way you can check the IP here if you don't know if you're I'm already on the same wireless network uh, and I can launch the uh, uh, terminal app in Ubuntu phone and just simply execute the command hostname dash capital I there you go that's it then I'm gonna connect on my desktop to inside of the Ubuntu phone I'm already inside I will do that on two of my terminals opened and uh, I'll do two things here I'm using my little tool that I've written with free Pascal um, what it basically does is it downloads documents music pictures videos etc and also it checks for um, sys process process system device and PTS um, and this is now and this is the crucial part this is now inside of my Ubuntu phone and inside of the Ubuntu phones um, container here we go is the Lazarus 1.7 which uses free Pascal 3.0 so I'm launching it it launches from my phone but because of the SSH X forwarding it sends the Lazarus to the screen of my desktop. The idea here is that this Lazarus, exactly this one that I have here um, in my desktop, actually runs off the phone itself. This Lazarus is now executed inside of this phone, but because of my SSH uh, session with X forwarding, uh, the output is being uh, sent over the network to my desktop here from the phone. And then I'm using my input, my keyboard and my mouse to uh, um, interact with it. Now, a very interesting thing is that the phone itself does not have a X server running because this device is running on the new Canonical's new uh, display server called MIR. M I R. MIR. MIR. Um, I'm making the X server and X stack installed on my desktop available to this application that is on the phone to use. I'm now remotely launching GTK um, uh, Lazarus IDE which I will use to write and compile a GTK uh, application for ARM and then I need to figure out how to run it on the phone itself where phone is running under MER and does not allow for directly running X or GTK applications at all so uh, it turns out that this is pretty simple and I will show that at the end um, it is because uh, the phone comes with this um, layer 
uh, application I'm not sure what it is called X um, the reason I'm not sure what it is is because the only way I know how to use it is by setting um, certain flag inside of a uh, desktop file uh, a launcher for an application and I don't really know how I'm supposed to use XMER standalone uh, in other words uh, from the command line itself not through a setting inside of a launcher desktop file so this is something that I still uh, didn't figure out but I will show you that this, is, this doesn't really matter much for us so what I have here open already is a project um, of a game of a snake game um, you might be uh, able to see that there's a certain lag at times um, between my interaction and actually the, um, the user interface reacting accordingly this is because again this IDE is run over the network remotely and sometimes when something happens um, on the connection between these two devices um, it creates this sort of lag uh, with Lazarus I could easily um, edit this project locally totally locally on Ubuntu or Windows for that matter it doesn't matter because Lazarus is fully um, cross-platform and when I'm finished I only transfer the code inside of the phone only open it here in this IDE and compile uh, right once compile anywhere right Lazarus uh, but what I'm doing instead to show you is actually something that I fully wrote um, in this way on remote Lazarus ID so this game snake I made it from the scratch entirely purely 100% using this method from the beginning to the end so I created a container inside of the Ubuntu phone I installed Lazarus in it the way I use Lazarus is um, with SSH uh, uh, session that has X forwarding so I'm actually send I'm, I'm running the Lazarus inside of my phone but I'm sending uh, the application um, uh, interface to my desktop and this is where I interact with it and I have written this game completely completely from the ground using this method entirely I didn't use any other method so this is 100% how I was doing it uh, so here I have my units um, with my code I didn't quite count how much code it now contains this is what I did here and now what is happening is when I compile this inside of Lazarus I'm compiling there are some messages compiling in project linking all right so here is the crucial part of this entire uh, video tutorial uh, I already have a binary file an executable for ARM architecture inside of my phone um, because I just compiled it the question here is how I'm supposed to use it on my phone not over remote session if that executable is actually uh, a GTK um, application that requires X server uh, to run um, so here is what I do to make it run as I told you before I also have the second terminal here I'm also inside of um, uh, my phone over SSH so what I'm launching up here is midnight commander file manager and I open in both left and right view two locations one location is where my code my project from Lazarus is, Lazarus is located um, actually it's located inside of my documents folder under code Lazarus and the folder with the name of my game uh, I have some okay and then some sources right and some sources exactly so now this is what we'll work with here is the executable that I just compiled and this executable is already suitable to run on Linux uh, inside ARM architecture but with X display server this is the requirement that the phone does not fulfill 
So what I do, I told you that the there is this thing called XMIR. All right, I'll show you what I do. I go to a folder, uh, another folder on my phone that I created especially for for this purpose. I created a folder inside of the hidden directory uh, dot local um, called XMIR. And then inside of this XMIR folder, I have folders with some of the programs that are X programs that require X stack programs that are GTK mostly, uh, and uh, programs that would not otherwise run directly on the phone. So here I also have a folder for my project for this game. When I enter inside, when I enter inside, I have a launcher file um, uh, file with the extension desktop. I'm going to open this now. View. And here is the very important setting. Uh, there are two flags that I'm using here. One is called x ubuntu touch equals true. And another one is x ubuntu xmir enable equals true. Basically, adding these two um, variables, these two settings, into the desktop file that is the launcher for my application does the trick it will ensure that this application uh, the one that I have inside of my exec that this application will not try to be executed directly on the phone via ex via mer because that would fail right but rather it will be launched e inside of xmer which emulates which emulates um, X uh, stack, which is a compatibility layer. So this is how I know you can use it. And um, what I don't know yet, but I will try to find out, is is there any other way to use XMIR directly from command command line? Because currently I don't know how to do that. Um, there is no application called si simply XMIR like that. So um, unless there's some certain way of uh, using capital letters with it that would match. So I'll have to research on that. But so far as I'm concerned, that's the only way that I know it will work. And actually it works great. Now, other settings are just standard settings. And here is the exec setting. Um, in case of my very simple game, uh, it could be absolutely straightforward. I could directly um, indicate my uh, executable file that I just compiled inside here and it will work it will work great I tested it but the reason I don't run it directly rather I have a um, uh, sh um, uh, uh, bash script that runs it is because of this here I open the x run bash script here this script is super straightforward as well what it ends with is it ends with directly um, um, starting the application right the only extra steps that I'm doing is I'm setting few environmental variables that's all so um, the first environmental variable is for Qt it's not required because I know that my application is compiled against the GTK widget set but it is also possible, and also with Lazarus, to as well to compile um, uh, programs against the, G the Qt library. So if that was the case, this uh, variable would uh, have effect. But this is kind of a template. That's why I just leave it here, just for the sake, so that in the future I just only copy this file. I only copy it over to another project and, and reuse it, right? So this is template. The second one is for GTK. This is what I'm using. And what it does, so this is basically the magic that solves uh, the problem with the on-screen keyboard. Um, without this, uh, inside of your application that you run, the GTK application that you run on your phone via XMIR, you would not be able to access on-screen keyboard, uh, the system one at least. Uh, you could go out of the box and create your own on-screen keyboard or input method programmatically um, built in your application kind of feature, right, or application. That's how I used to do it before. The second half of how you solve that problem is you actually install a package, two packages, one for Qt, one for uh, GTK, uh, a packages inside of your Ubuntu phone within your terminal, uh, just, you know, sudo apt-get install, 
and the name of these two packages I will I will uh, put under the description and on my blog as well. Um, super easy stuff. So you and th these are actually very low in size, so you don't really worry about running out of space on your system partition or anything like that. So you you remount your system partition uh, to make it read write. Uh, install these two packages and you s you remount your uh, system partition again to make it uh, read only again mm, and it works flawlessly so I will show you this uh, so this is one stuff one part and now what I have here is this this is what I have here I have the executable inside of this folder this executable can if I try to launch it via terminal here directly it will fail because it will not find GTK it will not find X none of these will fail however I'm not going to run it directly instead I'm going to launch it via this launcher this desktop launcher so first thing that I need to do is this desktop launcher has to go to a place where Ubuntu phone uh, finds it um, I just use a uh, symbolic link and put this under the local file so it's in your home folder uh, hidden folder called dot local and then share applications so I create a, a symbolic link over there from this desktop file and in that way uh, this launcher will be find, found here is the little face of a snake so this is this is this desktop file if you create the symbolic link or copy the launcher there and you cannot find it here all you have to do really is to use the search function and start typing the name of your application as you define it inside of the launcher and then you can cancel you will find it like in my case would be laz that's the beginning laz it just has to run the search and cancel and after I do that cancel then it will uh, find the launcher so uh, you put your desktop file your launcher inside of one of these two locations one is the actual user share applications but we, do, we, we, we don't prefer that method because you would have to first remount your system partition to read write and then back again to read only and plus I don't think that that would uh, still exist in there uh, after updating your um, uh, operating system after updating Ubuntu on the phone or the better way requires no special permissions no remounting nothing like that you just directly copy that to your home folder inside of dot local share applications you put it there and then if it doesn't uh, still doesn't show your uh, icon your launcher icon here on, you just use the search feature and try to search for it um, and that's it and it will show up so now what I will do I will run it on the phone to show you that it actually works all right so I click on it it launches normally and this this is the application that I actually wrote and compiled in Lazarus right there are some settings here okay and what I want to show you on these settings is that actually the screen keyboard works and this is the greatest part because the screen keyboard look actually works on this thing this is the most um, um, crucial thing for the applications where you actually need to do some input uh, here in this application that is the only place where I use it the only one so even if I didn't have it I could probably do just fine right but if you're making an application with a lot of fields that needs uh, users input that is basically uh, what you will struggle with the on-screen keyboard so I just discussed how to get it to work uh, for everything else in this uh, simple application I just need touch and that works start new game and there you go you see that's the snake game here and a few interesting facts uh, let me show you something I don't know if you heard but you should have heard a sound as the snake eats the, uh, the fruit the apple alright so uh, let me show you another thing as I touch any one of these four corners a special treat will appear all right so you heard the here is the special one it looks different so um, the reason I'm showing you these things and I go to 
settings again. The reason I'm showing you these is because I actually um, I wrote an application with Lazarus. So I wrote it in Pascal, compiled with free Pascal. And I'm able not only to make this UI and make all of this work, but I'm also able to play sounds on Ubuntu phone. I'm also able to use the vibration actually. All right. So I don't know if that was heard or not, but there's actually vibration under the keys when I uh, there like gives you a little bit of tactile uh, impression. And then I have two flags here. I can turn the vibration on and off, and same with the sounds. Right. So uh, and again to show you this is actually running, you know, in parallel. It's just running there. Yeah, and done. And I can, I can quit. So uh, this is pretty awesome because I am writing an application in Lazarus totally without using the SDK. Uh, it's just as easy. It's identical actually in the process as as writing a desktop application for Windows or Linux or Mac OS because this is all something you can do with Lazarus. Uh, the IDE is great. It's just as using Delphi really. <laughs> You have all of it, it's just awesome. So the speed of development is incredible. And then at the end, uh, plus it actually runs inside of your phone, inside. So you don't have to create any virtual machine, any special emulation, none of these for ARM cross, cross, cross compiling. None of these is necessary. Instead, I actually install Lazarus and run it directly in the phone because the phone is the platform that my tra target platform when I want to use these things. And I use it directly here, but for the sake of convenience of the big screen and everything, um, the X forwarding works just great over the SSH, which is really one of the best things about this uh, platform. Ubuntu phone itself doesn't have uh, many of the applications that um, you can get easily with Android or iOS, um, but the beautiful thing about it, and not for regular users, but for Linux power users is that you can actually put uh, X programs in it, GTK programs, and then run them off the phone on your desktop. So this mode is really, really, really something powerful because now I have all of my programs. I can have my Firefox, my Thunderbird, my LibreOffice, my anything inside of this phone, and I take the phone with me anywhere I go. Um, I have it in my pocket and then as soon as I arrive somewhere with the desktop as long as you have Ubuntu desktop the the level of integration is awesome as long as you know how to use uh, SSH with X forwarding I I just connect both of these to the same uh, wireless network by the way you can actually open a hotspot here on the phone and it on it is totally sufficient for your laptop for your desktop to connect wirelessly to the hotspot uh, opened by your phone and they will be in a LAN network. You can do that already. So you can run X, GTK, QT um, applications directly off your phone but remotely onto the desktop um, screen. And, and this is powerful, right? So uh, at this moment I'm at the stage when I cannot get it to Ubuntu Store yet. I need to find uh, out the method how to go about this app armor uh, executing in XMR. How how these two things um, should be configured to work together nicely. But what I'm able to do is I could create uh, I could package it as a Debian DEB that I could do that will work. I actually tested it earlier earlier at the early stage and there's no problem with that. Uh, but the problem is you need to run sudo and install it, right? So that's that's another problem. Or I could just very simply um, uh, distribute uh, my program as a um, zipped uh, archive that I only ask the user to unzip to a certain location uh, and either manually create the symbolic link to a desktop launcher or run an um, installation script from inside. And that would do it. That would actually, that's the way I will be, for now, distributing the application. Um, but finally, what I hope to achieve is to actually make a click package that will upload to Ubuntu Store, 
which probably now would but it has to undergo the review and it will stack there because it does not launch right now which i think has to do with up armor so guys um just just to finish this up i want to show you something i just want to show you something for those of you who aren't familiar with Pascal and, and Lazarus. Uh, a lot of people when they hear Pascal, they think of Turbo Pascal, uh, an ancient compiler and language uh, by Borland uh, that used to be used a lot under DOS operating system, disk operating system, which some of you might remember and younger among you maybe you won't. Uh, and a lot of people think that that is basically what Pascal stands for nowadays. Little do those people know that actually uh, Pascal as a language went on. Um, uh, one of the big products that still uses Pascal to uh, successfully up to do today is Delphi, uh, which originally was made by uh, uh, Borland, but then was passed over to a few other uh, companies. It was sold off and, and, and back and forth. Uh, currently, uh, Delphi is a commercial uh, product that you need to pay to get but once you do it you can write a program in Pascal and then you can compile it and deploy it to Android, iOS, Mac OS and Windows of course and uh, it will put your applications to the uh, App Store of, uh, of Apple or to Google Play um, no problem with that um, it does not yet compile for Linux so we're waiting for that uh, or you can get Lazarus, which uses free Pascal, completely free um, uh, uh, Pascal compiler. And Lazarus uh, looks and feels uh, like Delphi, uh, but it's completely free. And it is able to compile for Windows, Linux, Mac OS, uh, NetBSD, Solaris, Amiga OS, um, uh, Windows CE um, for Android with little configuration there uh, not for iOS yet and from a few other operating systems that I don't don't remember uh, from the top of my head and um, this is how it looks like uh, and the ID is really awesome uh, you have components that you just drop on the form so visually you arrange all of that no QML files and all of this pain I don't know Anyways, it's like I don't I, I don't want to go into religious discussion over uh, one programming language uh, versus another. But this is not really about the programming language. I, it's about IDE, about the IDE itself. Uh, even if the language that is used for the for the program for the code was C or C plus plus, it still matters to me what the IDE does to make my work um, easier. And IDE uh, of Lazarus, the entire Delphi IDE. Uh, which some of you might know as C++ Builder because C++ Builder is also made by Borland. It's basically the same ID as Delphi. It is written in Delphi, but it uses, it allows you to use C++ language instead of Pascal language. Uh, so this ID is phenomenal. And here, as you can see, I run it off my phone, on my desktop. I drag and drop components. I set their properties, events, write code. Instantly, moment, like, just instantly I have a layout created. I can adjust it in real time. What you see is what you get. All of that adjust at these there. I add a little bit of a code here and there. Compile, send it to my phone, and it works. So this is awesome, great method to uh, make um, software for this platform, right? So thank you for for uh, attention. Those of you who stay with me, the, there was a lot of talking and a lot of. Um, this stuff I will have to um, make as short as possible when I cut and mm, edit this video but I will make an extensive um, article on my blog about this I will document all of these put all of the names of the packages that you need to install all of the locations for the files and I will make step-by-step -step instruction how to follow and um, do what I'm doing here and fortunately what I hope is all of the community that is already familiar with Free Pascal and with Lazarus, I hope that they can in no time start developing software for this very new platform. The most amazing thing is that they should be able uh, in a very short time to port their existing uh, software 
to this new platform. And um, right now the Ubuntu store content is really not exciting. Uh, there are some core applications that are very very good but this is just really not exciting in terms of how much things are available and what these things are so I hope um, people will start using Lazarus and this method of development and I hope that these people can really contribute a large at large to this new platform because this new platform is phenomenal no restrictions and the possibilities are endless with Ubuntu on the phone so thank you uh, again and if you have any questions uh, if you think I could help you or you if you think you could help me that's even better um, send me an email which I will add in description uh, get in touch with me follow my blog um, put comments there and let's help each other out alright thank you